It's the Introvert Dating Success Podcast, the show for introverted men that's all about learning how to attract beautiful women and still get your precious alone done. And now, here's your host, dating coach and fellow introvert, Harry Wilmington. What up, IDS mob? Welcome to the Introvert Dating Success Show. I'm your host as always, Harry Wilmington. And today, the topic of the show is, are you shy, lazy, or an introvert? Now, the inspiration for this show was I was doing research for another show I had to go on for an interview, uh, the Dope Dealers podcast, and they were talking about the death of Kevin Samuels. And so I was going on the show to debate somebody who was not a fan, who was a woman who was not a fan of Kevin Samuels' show. And so in order to do that, I was like, you know what? I always like to be prepared. I've already watched a good amount of his content, but let me go back and rewatch some of his stuff, particularly the the shows that he did where he was talking to men because he gets a lot of flack for the stuff he said about women, but he was doing shows for men for like three or four years before women started calling in more and he started responding to their stuff. And a lot of the stuff that he said to men was also like harsh and at times hard to hear, but a lot of it was also very valid in terms of a man's self-growth. But anyway, he, he made a particular comment about introverts in particular, uh, part of which I agree with and part of which I don't agree with, but that's how a lot of this stuff was where I don't feel as though when you're taking in a content creator stuff, you have to agree with every single thing they say in order for their stuff to be valid. Like even you guys watching and listening to this show on the YouTube channel or on the podcast, if there are shows that I do where you don't agree with the particular opinion that I have, that's totally fine. That doesn't mean that all the stuff that I've said ever is now complete BS. It just means that you may not agree with a certain particular point that I make based on your experience in life. I may have a viewpoint about dating and women in relationships based on my experience and what I do. And those things don't always have to agree with each other in order for you to be able to say, but overall, Harry kind of knows what he's talking about. And so I'm going to read the comment that he said and then go into the topic. So the comment that he said, I'm going to get this right. Uh, on one of his shows that he did back in the day, he said, some guys are using the term introvert where the term loser would have been used 20 years ago. And when he says that, that's in reference to the fact that he was saying a lot of men that say they can't get women or that they're introverted are really just guys that aren't willing to actually put in the work to learn communication skills or to go out there and actually chase after the women that they want. So instead, they just say, oh, I don't have anybody. I can't talk to people because I'm an introvert. And my thought on that is that I, I believe that there is a difference. I believe that there are some men, quite, quite a few men actually, that are born with the introverted energy. And I also believe that you could have a person that would, in other circumstances, be extroverted, but maybe they faced a lot of rejection. Maybe they didn't learn the right social skills. And so they live a life by themselves by default of that, in spite of the fact that they actually would rather be a person that can go around and talk to more people and be out and about. And so this boils down to when you're out there in the dating world trying to connect with women and you're getting the kind of results that you don't want. It could boil down to three things, which is, are you actually a shy person? Are you a lazy person? Or are you somebody that is actually an introvert? And I want to go over the difference between those because I do believe that there are some men in the introverted space who are claiming that they're introverted when really it is that they're shy or they're lazy. And there's a major difference between what those things are versus what an introvert actually is and how that determines your success with women. All right. So let's talk about the first one. Are you shy? Now, a shy person very much is somebody that has anxiety going out into the world and talking to people. But you can be an extroverted person and still be shy, meaning you could be somebody that actually likes to be around people. If you had your choice, you could spend like the majority of your days and weeks around people and not get tired. But there could be a barrier there. There could be some kind of anxiety. There could be a thing in you where you're constantly worried about the impression you're giving to other people and what they're feeling about you and how they're going to respond to you. Should you say, you know, quote unquote, the wrong thing. And especially when it comes to women, it can be one of those things where if you have not forcefully put yourself into the habit of approaching women, of being able to talk to them, and more importantly, of doing it so much that you become indifferent to how they're going to respond to you, then what could actually be happening is you're a shy person and that means that you have anxiety about going to approach people in spite of the fact that you actually really do have the energy of wanting to be around a lot of people. 
Now, if you're shy, then you're not an introvert because you could be an introvert that also is very confident about themselves and is able to go out there and talk to people when you want to talk to them. Shy basically means you want to do it, but you're holding yourself back for psychological reasons, for reasons based on your past and so forth and so on. Okay. So that's a shy person. And again, an extroverted person can be a shy person. So you can't equate shyness with introvertness. All right. And we'll get into that as we get into the, the introvert definition. All right. So then you have the next part, which is, are you lazy? Now, you could be an extroverted person and you could be or you could be an introverted person. All right. In either case, in terms of trying to go after women, it could just be that you're a very lazy person. And what that shows itself up as is you're the guy, let's say you're walking in public and you see a hot woman walk next to you. You're thinking, OK, well, you really wish you could talk to her and hit up on her. But then also part of you is like, but I don't really know like if she's going to like me or not. And you know what? I haven't really done enough to really know how to actually approach that situation. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to sit by. I'm going to walk by her. And if she's interested, then she'll hit on me. These are also the guys that if they do online dating and they start building a rapport with a woman, they'll do things like say, well, if she wants to go on a date, then she'll send me her number or she'll suggest a date or she'll tell us where to go. Or, you know, all these things whereby you're putting it on the woman basically to do all the moves and make all, you know, do all the words and phrases that they need to say in order. So that way you 100 percent know for sure that this other woman wants you. All right. And that is the lazy man's way of dating. It's also a guy that just takes whatever he can get. And that's where like, you know, you have a woman that likes you and you're only kind of halfway feeling her, but you're thinking, but you know what? She's better than nothing. And I don't see myself getting any of the prospects. So I guess I'll take this woman and I will make it work. Like this is the only option that I have. And that's very lazy because in the process of doing that, what that means is that you're not actually going after the women that you really want, the ones that you actually find attractive, the ones that you feel you would have great chemistry with because you're waiting for them to do all the work and also because there's hesitancy because you don't want to risk rejection. And a lazy man is not going to do things that would possibly make him risk getting rejected because that's a whole another mind boggling thing in and of itself. That's more work. That's having to like do things like build up self-esteem and again, figure out what communication styles are going to work best when you're talking to women that would allow you to get the results that you want. Okay. So the defined shyness, which is again, having anxiety towards wanting to make moves and you have laziness, which is you want the woman to do everything and you're not going after the women you truly want. Okay. None of these things, should have to equate with being an introvert, okay? Because an introvert basically is a person whose energy gets easily used up when they're around other people. They prefer being able to really have their alone time to recharge, to be creative, to think about things. And it's it's a calmer energy. You know, introverts don't really do good around hectic energy for long periods of time. So for example, if I go to a concert that's like two and a half hours, after that two and a half hours, my energy is spent. I could just go home the rest of the day and be fine. I don't need to then go out to the bar and then go to hang my friends afterwards because my energy has already been zapped for the day. Okay. So also in terms of going around women though, an introvert person can still be a confident person that has the right communication skills and knows how to interact with women in a way to whereby he's able to actually build up their attraction to where they want to go out with him. Okay. And so but that could very well mean, like, for example, you could be the kind of introvert that's able to go to a party with people that you already know. And if a new person, a new woman's in that environment, you can, you know, go up to her, you can talk to her, you can be making her laugh, you can have a good time. And then, you know, after that interaction's over with at that party, you get her number, you, you're at the party for maybe in two hours, maybe three hours tops, and then you head out and you go home and you go back to your place and you rest. And so you didn't have to stay at the party for five or six hours, but you were still in the time that you were there, able to make an impression, able to talk to people and able to get a woman's number. And the best way you can tell if you're the kind of introvert that is still able to, you know, have fun and meet women and get the results that you want is you'll hear those same women later on say, wait, you're an introvert. I couldn't tell you were an introvert because you seem so lively. And there's always this misconception about introverts that we can't be, you know, talkative or we're always in the corner at a party or we never talk to anybody. And that's not what an introvert is. Again, being an introvert is about, you know, reserving your energy, about making your moves at the right time after doing a quick analyzation. Because again, you might be at a party and you might be, you know, to yourself for a little bit at the party, but you're sitting there analyzing. You're looking at who should you approach or who should you talk to in the room. But there's a difference between that 
And then the thing that happens afterwards, whereby you analyze and then go pursue versus you analyze and then you sit there because you're shy and you're anxious or you sit there and say, well, I know how I want to approach, but I'm going to wait for them to do it because now that's you being lazy. OK, so you can be an introvert and still be a guy that's confident and a guy that's willing to work to uh, go after the women that you want and thereby make it a thing that you're actively doing versus being lazy and sitting back. And this is why I get so mad when people will say things like, well, you know, you know, introverts are shy and they're lazy and blah, 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 because that is a misnomer. That is not a thing. Yes, there are introverts who are also shy. Yes, there are also introverts that are also lazy. But if you're an introvert that wants to get the results with women that you've been lacking, then if those are parts of your personality, you need to work on that. You need to work on being more confident so you won't be shy. You need to be working on, you know, the right communication skills and knowing what tools to have at your arsenal so you'll feel confident enough when women are in your environment, the ones that you like, to go after them versus sitting back and waiting for them. If you are that kind of introvert, then you're giving introverts a bad name because me as an introvert, again, I can go talk to women. I can do online dating. I can go to parties. And in all these environments, I know how to come out of my shell with the energy in the moment that I have to be able to make the moves I need to be able to attract women that I want. And then if I decide to go back to my apartment and be, you know, to myself or whatever, until I decide to call the woman up and ask her out, well, then so be it. But you can't use your introvertism as an excuse as to why you're not getting women, because there are plenty of introverted guys that are in happy relationships that are still able to get their alone time with the woman because their woman understands them and what they need in those moments but they didn't use that as a reason to not be able to be successful with women. So if you have been using that as an excuse as to why you're not getting women, then it simply means that you need to learn the right things to break out of your shell, to be more confident, to be less anxious, and to be able to talk to women. And if you need help with that, you can go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, check out some of my eBooks and my audiobooks, which are designed to help you date as your introverted self while still getting your precious alone time. We teach you how to be more confident, how to be less anxious, the right steps and tools to be able to approach a conversation with any woman. Even if a woman isn't not choosing you, just getting into the habit, because it really is about building up the habit. A lot of people think that, you know, people that aren't shy are just naturally born that way, but it really does take a lot of purposefully going after failure, knowing that you're going to talk to some women who aren't going to want to respond to you. And you're going to eventually start talking to women that actually do have an interaction with you and a rapport and are willing to get with you. But that all starts by not being lazy and by breaking out of your shell. And again, you can go to the website to learn a lot more of that stuff. So hopefully, guys, this helps you out. If you have any questions that you want answered on one of these shows, you can leave a comment down below or write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. If you want to show support for the show, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the tip jar tab, and leave a monetary thank you. All right? So thanks, guys, for watching. That's it for today. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Introvert Dating Success Podcast. Visit us at introvertdatingsuccess.com for more great tips on attracting women using your natural introvert charm. Oh, yeah.